and then just sit him back down. Oh god, look. Right, okay. What do we have here? So we gotta... See, the first thing to do on games like this is to figure out where is the exit? Where do we have to go, right? Oh, we've got to activate this crystal over here first, because then we can control them. So where have we got to go? And we can make this go. We can pick this up to open this up so the frog can get out. Um, if we put it, should we put it in front of that one? Let's put it there. Oh, okay, that's, that's the button there to stop us. Okay. I'm not really sure where the exit is at the level. Because you can't go this way because you can't go in the water. So I'm guessing we've got to go... I don't know. It's hard to tell which part is background and which part isn't. I mean, obviously, we, we can probably come up... We can probably come over here. So we, you, what we can do is we can stand on this and then get this guy to um, move this back, then we can be on this platform, but then then where? Then where are we going to go? So if we get to come up here... And I should get a frog out first, because we might need a frog to m make this guy stand on that, that pressure point. Let's get a frog out first. Or a toad, I should say. We'll bring the toad out. Um, Let's go click on this thing down here because it's got a bit of something to say to us. Ah, see you later, Wobble. Terrain. Elevated walkways crisscross the corrosive swamp ahead. Beyond it, she sees the cratered foothills of Nadar Mountain, home of the gods. Home of the gods. Um, hmm, let's do that. So I can see chat again. All right. Um. So now, if I come up here, I stand on that. I get him to pick me up and put me back on the other side. And then we can get that guy to move this onto that. And then he will go stand on that, which will stop the flames. But now, where'd you go? Oh, maybe, maybe you're supposed to bring the goat over here and get the goat to ram this big um, chimney here and it will fall down to get you to walk across. That might make sense, right? That makes sense. That's probably it, okay. So let's send us back over the other side. Let's get the goat back on it. Get to get on it with us. Can you get on it with us? We can both share it. I get him to carry us both over there. That seems like the most obvious thing. Um, Yeah, look, you can see it's white. When you're over here on him, you can see it's white, so we can click on it. Nice. Puzzle Master. Or something like that. Abby's heart pounds as her scanner indicates another phantom signal. She initiates the connection. Black box from shipping detected. Oh, she's got the black box and stuff. I must accept it. My transmitter can't be repaired. I've had no contact with the others. I don't know if anyone will ever hear these words. It matters not. Talking 
even to myself. It helps. The voices are so soft compared to everything else. I mean, the sound of the game is not very loud anyway, but the voices are so soft compared to anything else. Alone, I could not resist the divide for long. Oblivion closes in. She hasn't heard his voice for two years. Like a reflex to rip at an open wound, Abby's mind recalls her memory of the day he left. She wonders how many more of his transmissions await her in the Divide. A sudden urgency pulses through her tired muscles. Uh, yes, Gorlock, we played... I have played it. We played it, I think we played it on Sunday. We played some Dark and Light, and I think I got to about level 9. I've played it a little bit since. I played it a bit yesterday. I'm, I'm up to level 15 now, and I've got... I've not really done much. I've got a little house that I built. The same little house I built on stream on Sunday. I've got a, a sheep called Dolly who sits inside my house making fur for me, and that's, that's about it. Um, but I am, unlike you and everybody else, I am an elf, so... I think there's about eight or nine people that have, that have got characters on that server now, and all of them but me, as far as I'm aware, are elves. I don't know what Thunder God is, but I know Wyborg is an elf, you're an elf, like uh, J Lo is an elf, Stumpy, Kimball are elves. Oh, sorry, they're all. Everyone's a human. You know, go like Stumpy, T Box, Kimball, J Lo, Wyborg, they're all humans. The only one I'm not sure of is Thunder God, but I'm sure Thunder God probably is a human. I'm, new, I'm an elf, so I'm in the. The south part of the map all on my tod. Me and me and the goblins are hanging out down there. Me and my goblin friends. Elves. But elves have got ears! They've got the um the pointy cat ears. Well granted you can make a human with pointy cat ears, but I didn't realise that I didn't know that at the time that I started, so if I would have, maybe it would things would have been a little bit different, but Maybe not, right? Right, okay, so basically we need to get up there, right? We can see right we can see our destination. Right, okay, this switch here, we gotta get okay. So that's the bridge, so we gotta get And do we have I wonder No we can't we can't bring anyone from the screen above us, so We can put it on there, so we can hang on, put it on there. Then we can get on the bridge, right? We can come over and click on this and get on this thing and get him to lift it up. Or he's not gonna see it now, is he? Oh my god. I suppose what I can do is get him to click on it and then quickly... Hang on. Quick. Oh, I was, I was going to get him to, to walk to it and quickly run to this while he's walking, but it does not going to work. Tomorrow, Squirrel. Yes, I'm going to check Hellblade out tomorrow. Um. Tomorrow. Um, it's my plan. I was going to look. I mean, obviously, it came out today. The same. This came out today. So did like the uh, new season of Batman. Um, oh shit! I didn't see him. Oh shit! Oh, we're gonna. Okay, let's. Let's just forget about the bridge for a minute and get this thing out. Guess get this thing out here to to go over there. So yeah, I, I decided to do that tomorrow because obviously because I've had my my back has been killing me, so I've been um I'm not wasn't sure if I was going to be able to stick around all day. So because I wasn't sure, I figured I'll play something that's that's probably that's a lot slower pace and I could easily take breaks with if that makes sense. I should push over that switch. What did that do?
Wait, where did that button to? You just push this over a button, right? Now maybe I've got to um I get him to come this side and put it on here like that. And then he's not going to run away, is he? Because he can't get past. He's going to want to go and get to this yellow thing on the right, but he can't because I'm in the way. Now, if I lift it up, now if he lifts it up, I can move. Right, so how do you get past that bit? We get over there now. Oh shit, we fell off. Fuck okay, it, we're gonna kill ourselves to get back. Yeah, so when you stand on this, this is obviously like a, a crane that's lifting it up. You can't walk on top of the crane, so. How are you supposed to go up? Oh, I suppose we've got to somehow get on top of this, then we can climb up on here, I suppose, maybe? Hook bottom boots, what? Well, we're gonna get the this button over here push first so that we can go visit him. I kind of thought that once it's lifted up, you could walk along this thing here and get out, but you can't. So that bridge is the only use of that bridge is to get over there to push that button. It's not much use for anything else. So what I've got to try to figure out is how to get on top of this thing. Oh. I think I have to use this guy down the bottom first before we back. Wake him up. Oh. But he can ram this out of the way. So that he can get out. He can ram the one at the top as well and it pushes it over that button. <laughs> what that does, I don't know. Probably nothing, but who knows. Oh, it turns off the fire. Okay, I see what it was doing. It turned off that fire up there. I, see, I get it. I see it. I see it now. I see it now. So we put this thing here on the top, and we can climb onto it from over here, and it can carry us all the way over to this side. So we can jump on it from up here. Fall off, Abby! Puzzle Master! Oh, not really.
there's nothing inside the circle. If you touch the water, you're gonna die, so... Um, I'm missing something obvious here. There's no switches. There's no animals you can possess. That one. Uh -huh. You can't bring anything from back this one because the two the two um, circles don't overlap. So you got like the, the edge of the circle here and the next one starts here so these circles don't overlap otherwise you could have taken one of these guys and walked them across this bridge but you can't because there's a gap between the circles. Because you might have been able to bring that guy up here but because there's a gap between the circles like here like there's a, there's a piece of the platform there's no nothing there so you can't bring anything over. Ideally what you'd want to do is have one of those those rams up here to stand on that and have him ram you then you turn around to that side. Friendly contact approved. Ali peers into the murky water order. below. Thank you. For just a second, she allows herself to think of it. Imagining his return, she loses herself in an impossible illusion. A fleeting rush of joy follows. But the pain comes quickly after. Pulling away from the vision, she resumes her progress. So basically, you've got to get a ram up here on this platform to knock you over to the other side, but I don't... You can't... Hmm. You've obviously got to get... This is where you got to get at the top, right? Somewhere at the top is where you got to get. Um, let me see if we can bring him over. I don't think you can, but we'll have a look. I definitely don't think you can. You can get him on top, but you won't better get him to um you won't better get him to go over that, that walkway. Mm -hmm. Try. Nah, it's, it's not gonna happen because you got no as soon as you get as soon as you move he's gonna reset and you can't move him. And I said, there's no gap here, so you can't get anyone over, bring your critters from the previous level. And I see absolutely nothing on the screen we can interact with. Obviously, you got to, we clicked on the thing, you got this circle here, and there's nothing inside the circle, I should say, that we can click on. Hello, James. Oh, we can. Oh my God! What a fucking idiot! Abby notices the eerie glow of an artificial light coming from within the cabin. What an idiot! I thought it was a drop. See, now we can go back and move that guy. I thought that that was a drop. It's not. You can step in that water and hold on. Yeah. So now, if we go up here, we can control him. So basically we've got to try to find one of those from outside here and bring him in here to move that over to the other side because then we can go and get that thing over there. It's got, it's, yeah, it's one at the back. Okay, we've, got to, we've got to do this fight here first and we can do that. Alright. Let's take this one and attack that one. And attack that one. You weakened him enough. Yes. Right. The 
cabin is littered with scavenged debris. A piece of battered electronic machinery radiates an ambient glow in the corner. Abby hesitantly places her hand upon the dimly lit screen. Oh. Voice logs. You're right, Joris. The director. West has been annihilated. Our pursuit of the Oblium brought us here. We gathered on rooftops in the darkness to witness it. A blinding light as the fatal blow was dealt. Lists, shattered remains rained down upon our doomed lands. Without list protection, we were helpless in the face of awe and Ott's immense power. Mm. Lists' colossal remains cut vast craters into the earth where they fell. This we could maybe, but or and Ott continue to inflict a damage far worse. Our minds can't endure it. Justice, guilt, responsibility. There's no world to give meaning to these sounds anymore. My people never truly accepted the quiet, inevitable end awaiting each and every individual. The Oblion promised us a way out of it, and none could resist the futile pursuit of it. We've reaped a horror worse than we could have ever imagined. Ooh. All looks retrieved! Abby's yeah. thoughts race as the artifacts of a tragedy come together. A vista of chaos takes shape in her mind, threatening to overwhelm her. She has never felt so small. What atonement could she produce to reverse such an apocalypse? Mm -hmm. The crane holds a small lifeboat above the murky water's surface. Abby tries to lower it, but finds the controls locked. Uh, what? Did she get on a boat? I hope she didn't, because there was something we wanted to look at in the previous room. Damn it! Ball bags! Can we go back? No! God damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I should have known not to click on, not to click stuff until you do whatever you want me to do. Oh my god! I gave him to make the bridge. That would have been like a recording or something we could listen to. Um, but we buggered it. Take this one. Where are we gonna take it though? Oh, over here too. Make us a bridge to go to the next place. Yeah, there's, there's like a sparkly little line. If you would have if you would have got up there, we would have probably been able to uh, had like another log or lore piece. Um, but we buggered it. convenient is that? Incoming transmission from Avatar! We are weak, Abby. News of your progress is our only bomb. I am close, Amatai. Every step takes me nearer. The conditions of your atonement have been revealed? Not yet, but I am close to something. I can't explain it. I'm not alone. Echoes of Isaac guide me. It's as the prophecy foretold. The Divide offers both epiphany and oblivion. There is not far to go. None have been beyond mm. the fourth monolith. 
be cautious in your steps. Okay. None of them passed a fourth one away. Come on. So you're gonna try to run over there when it's facing up and hide behind this rock. Hide like here, right? And no, and then run, quick. He should have been here enough for me to kill him. Oh, yeah, okay. Abby's eye traces the outline of a distant curving ridge. She realizes the shattered plateau on which she stands is the hollow of a vast crater. From its epicenter rises the unmistakable form of another monolith. Abby continues towards it. Ah, oh, that's the fourth monolith they said. No one's been passed. It is the fourth one. <laughs> From the crater's fissured center point rises another of the mysterious monoliths. Like a tombstone, it anchors a world which has passed within the one that endures. Abby studies its script. The humans' weapons were useless against the mighty gods. Eventually, they realized only their atonement would satiate the gods' endless rage. Countless tributes and sacrifices were brought to Nadar Mountain, the home of the gods, but all were rejected. The humans despaired. They knew not what to offer to move the gods to restore their dead lands back to life. The gods laughed. They knew that only one who truly understood the meaning of loss could deliver that which they secretly demanded. Abby recoils, struggling to keep pace with her racing thoughts. Suddenly, she knows what she has to do. Oh! The Divide's ruins are a lesson in loss. The gods punished those who failed to learn it. She has to show she is different. Oblivion circles ever closer. Still, she seeks a way to atone. List's fallen remains are the key. Okay. List's fallen remains are the key. Oh shit, that looks a little bit... I... That is a bit of a big bridge. This bridge is going to fall, isn't it? I'm not sure if I would want to walk across a bridge like that, you know, being afraid of heights and all. That would not be a good thing, I don't think. All right, okay, we've got a fight going on, going to go on here, so we've got to figure out the best place to go in. We'll go around the back. I assume you step in the circle here, so we're going to be right in melee range of him if we go there, and we can't do that. This guy's going to be protecting someone with a shield, I just don't know who. I'm gonna have to go here just to see what it is. Right, okay, it's that that one at the top. So if we could just go to here, we can uh, um, control this guy right here, I think. Okay, we can control that guy. Oh, we can. Oh, shit, he's the only one we can do. Okay, so. Or we could just kill him and do it that way. That also works. These two will battle it out. Hit each other once. Now he should be weak enough for me to kill. Yes. Alright. Abby surveys her surroundings. 
the vast outline of the Dar Mountain rises from the mists ahead. Do you know anything down here? Although I don't know, there's no mobs. I don't see any mobs here that we can. I can't get down to where that is, but if we have a toad, he can get that out. Oh, there's a toad out there. Okay, we gotta get. Okay, so when we done, when we kill these, we get that toad down there. He's gonna get them out. All right. Okay, that guy at the top is one that shoots. So, ideally, you want to take out the one that shoots first. This no, he's got to take this guy out, I guess, because he's the one with the shield. Then he can take out this guy. Oh no. Okay, he can't take out that guy because he's. Okay. So we take if we take that guy out first, and this guy. They can't because he's in. It makes it it makes sense to do the one at the top first, unless unless hang on, come over here and we can take this guy first, and hopefully is. If we if we can't if we're not in direct line of sight of him, he's not in direct line of sight of me. I think he can still he can still hit me though. Um, yeah, he can still hit me. It's a matter of standing somewhere where he can't hit you, right? I guess. So you've got to do that one first. You've got no choice. Um, you got no choice because if you don't, I mean, you'll get shot from him if you do anyone else. Here we go. I got to shoot this one, then the shield is gone. See, this guy on the left is going to kill me. I can't do nothing about it unless I can try to go and kill him myself. Okay. See now I'm out of now we're out of sight. Okay, so now we're out of sight of him. So I can take one of these guys and get him to go around the back and kill him. I think that might be the way to do it, though. We just gotta you just gotta come out with a thingy before he kills you. As long as there's only one mob there, like you can kill them. But um, these, these little, the ground ones, you can kill if you do it quick enough. So shoot him again like that, and we'll attack this guy directly. Because then we're up behind cover, right? Okay. So we take the one that's closest and tell him to attack the one behind him, and then tell him to attack that guy. Now we can just go kill him. Nice. Go. Yeah. So I think we're going to take this guy down the bottom to get that that um thingy. There's gotta be a goat somewhere, I don't know where he is, but it's gotta be a goat somewhere. If we put it back up on this screen, and um we look up top, there's gotta be a goat somewhere. To to knock this bridge down to get the big guy out. He might be up here. Oh there he is, look. So I'll put that there and then and he is obviously in range of um Okay. He's in range of my thing now, so I can go up there and, and um, use him. Get him to knock that to bridge down. Get him to come over and knock the other bridge down. Alright. Then come back up here. 
then we're gonna go do that fight and when we've done that the big guy we're gonna bring the big guy up to to get over to this rock here once we've to block that so i i can t totally see what we're doing here now let's bring the let's bring the big guy over here first because get him in the right area clonk 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 Dust off the PS4. Right, okay. All right, so. Kill them to drop the shield. We have to kill the ranged one because I can't kill the ranged ones. Right, they beat each other up a little bit, so that's all that matters. So as long as they hit each other at least once, then I can finish them off with my staff. Or my sword. It looks like a staff, but it definitely still is. Well, it looks. I don't know what the thing's called. It looks like those big, um, those big thingies that have the big thingies on them. Yeah. I don't know, whatever that's called. Big thingy with a big thingy on it. Yeah. So he'll knock that down and the big guy can come and, um, get this rock. And put the rock in front of the, the gun. It's like a big stick with a big blade on the, the top. I don't know what... Have you seen them in like um, some like Asian movies? Asian like martial arts movies. I don't know what they're called. Um, not like a pike or something, but it's a, like a, a huge like saw blade on top of a um, or sword blade on top of a stick. I don't know what it's called. Damn it! Reaching for her comms unit, Abby is surprised to find a Hold strange on, maybe. object in her pack. A small carving of a crooked tree. Its shape stirs the echo of a memory she can't quite grasp. She hey, takes the dials on her comms unit, waiting for a response from the Enclave. You're not going to respond, are you? Tell me of your progress, Abby. This wasteland is a lesson. We must show the gods that we understand. Your voice is fervent. I sense epiphany within. There is oblivion in these craters. God remains, forged from fallen list. I will take some to the summit. Your words outpace my faculties. We must show that we accept what those before would not. That Oblion, eternity, belongs to the gods. I see now. Oblivion stalked your every step. But Epiphany comes from turning to face what pushes. At our backs. Harry, gather your peace offering. Lay it at the feet of those who rage against us. The calm stream is suspended. Abby ascends the steepening slope ahead. Oh, there's a flame now. I didn't see that. Thomas. It's hard not to see it, right? Oh my God. But that one left top. Circle's not very big, but wait, hang on. Mm 
You can't ram that because it's too far. I mean, maybe we can do... Hang on, do something with a toad. Can we get this? Hang on. Can we get this? No, we can't! Because you can see the two, where the two lines missed. There's, there's a gap between the two um, things. So if we, hang on, we put this... There's a gap between the two circles, so we can't just, um... You can't... We need a big guy up here. We need one of the big the big guy from down on the bottom up here. Um... But he's not gonna walk past... He, he can't walk past the edge, so... So we can't... You can't get him to walk over there, because there's a gap. If you get over this thing over here, he could put it on that one there and he'll walk past it towards it. I don't think this one can do is ram that, but it doesn't do anything when he rams it. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. I, I guess he's got to get... i got to get... Oh my god. That's going to fuck it, isn't it? I guess i got to get a toad. If I get a toad on that first, then he'll be able to see that to get it. Alright, let's do that. Let's, let's get the toad onto the platform. And then you can knock it with the dude. If I come up here and knock it with this dude, then quickly change to him and try to suck it up. Come on, hit it. What are you doing? Get over here, you bastard! Hit it! Oh, he'll hit it. Oh. On this side? It doesn't hit with him on it. There we go. Quick. It's too far away, he can't fucking reach here, can he? He's gotta be away from to reach it. Oh, he's got it! What an idiot, he's already got it! I didn't notice he picked it up. He's got a big old tongue. Oh man, he's got a big old tongue. Woohoo! We might have to bring him onto the next screen, maybe. Abbas um, pulse quickens as her scanner alerts her to another of Isaac's phantom signals. Black box from treatment detected. I use it, Isaac. Just almost everything. most painful persists saying goodbye to her I couldn't do it is he talking about me better to leave believing it wasn't forever it was the only way his voice is so soft the recordings end thrusts Abby back to the present back to the hells of the divide where Isaac is no more than an echo from a world beyond her reach I mean, she can join him just by, you know, dying.
Alright, so we've got to get these guys, I guess, from this left side and come over here. Um, it's not him. If we bring it, if he brings out that, um, to get a little big guy, because we need a big guy over here to move the rock. Um, So if we move him now over to the other screen, and when we when we let go of him, he should walk to where we put that across the other side of the other circle. Should. If I let go here, he should walk to that. Yeah, there he is. Cool. She's on the other side. Okay. Oh! I should go over and walk over to that and click that now. Which will extend our circle a little bit. Nice! Right, so we can bring the big guy up to the top. Um, to that one up there. Let's see, what's, let's see what's up the top. We've got two toads and him. Oh yeah, he's got to come over and put the rock on one and stand on the other one, I guess. So we can do that now. We can get him to do that now. Um. He's got to stand on use the two switches. Because only big, big boned people can stand on the switches and make them work. And he does have big bones. I mean, damn, they look big. Right. So when he stands on that, it should go up another piece. Okay. Right. Obviously, he has a, he's going to come back when we do it. What if we get the? You can probably get the um. Get this guy. Oh, okay. Come over here. Get this guy. To put that up top. Oh no. Right, go back up, go back up, dummy. And then we can move him up top. And he'll stand on it all the time because I think so. Don't squish the toad! Right. Oh, we need the frog up there to get the thing on the other side. Um, the pink thing. Over here. So we can. Now we've got to do this fight. So we've got to do this fight first. He's hit him once. Hopefully he's hitting him. Um, I think we might. We should have probably had the, the big guy. He, he, he might kill us. Oh no, we didn't. Okay. I thought he was going to kill us then. Um. Usually they block the gun and we can go past. Oh, we can't fucking get out now, can we? Can 
Can we get on? Is that enough to get underneath it? <gasps> I can't even see my character is off the side of the screen. The character was off the side of the screen. We have to make sure I come back over the other side of the swing before we make him move. That thing, we gotta do something with a frog and this thing here. Oh, because he can pick that up. Um, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna need him to pick that up. I don't know where we're gonna put it, but. as well, so let's move everyone up now. I don't think he's, he's probably going to walk back to the next to the screen below when he goes up here, maybe, I don't know. We've somehow got to get control of that thing up there. Um, yeah, he's going to go back, all right. Some items lie scattered across the small clearing. Abby notices Isaac's satchel among them. Oh. Again, she thinks of his leaving. Her gaze had tracked his shrinking silhouette as it slipped over the horizon. She finds his comms unit on a nearby rock. It contains one final log. Oh, one more log. And it's in black box. User Isaac. My breath thins by the hour. Eyelids grow heavy. In the darkness, I still imagine it. A home world restored. Abby is there. Perhaps. Not all wounds can be healed. But God's fury teaches us what only the foolish forget. Some things not even a lifetime of searching can bring back. Hmm. The fierce winds drown out her quiet sobs. Abby checks the other contents of Isaac's satchel. Inside are three large oblion fragments. Their edges are lined to form a rough orb. Abby gathers them into her pack and continues climbing. Mm. That should give us range for him to, to get the bridge down. <laughs> then we can get a big guy to come and stand on that switch. I think that switch there probably draws, loads up the bridge on the right. Um, so we pick that up there. You, can, you can't put it on that switch there. Damn it. We just put it there if it's a little bit further away. And go back and get it. Go back and get him. Right. I can see what we gotta do here. So we gotta have our character standing to the right hand side, have him stand on that switch to raise the bridge, and when we let go it will slowly go down and we can he'll slowly walk back to this, I guess. Or do what we did last time and have um, have it the other way. So if we come over to this side, all right. So if we go, oh, we're gonna go stay inside the circle. All right. So if he stands over here, it looks like a switch. Where's the switch there? That'll raise. 
Oh, we're gonna just gonna put the get the the frog to, to put that on the other side, and then we're done. Pick that up, put it over there. Job done. Job done. There's another obelisk. Another monument. This is the fifth one. Abby's steps crunch on the gritstone as she approaches the solemn slab. Her eyes scan across its ridged lettering. Those shattered souls which endured continued to search for hope. They huddled and shivered in makeshift shelters, waiting for one who would traverse a world torn asunder. But the God War's ruin proved too harsh an arena for many. Years passed until the arrival of one who could cross this landscape of loss and gather shattered fragments into a new whole. Abby's eye falls on the splintered shards of crystal she found in Isaac's satchel. Their edges are lined to form something bigger, a peace offering, a token of atonement. She continues Ooh. towards the summit. Okay. The air grows thinner as she climbs. No breath is long or deep enough to satisfy Abby's lungs. The divide takes its toll, loosening the anchors inside. Her mind pulls feebly against it. For a second, the winds part the summit's cloud curtain. A monolith rises from the ridged peak ahead. Right. So basically, we're aiming towards this peak. So when we get to the peak, only the guardian's tortured screams pierce the wind's unending roar. We'll After a big end finale. Right. Okay. So, a crystal. Last time, right in the corner. I think we might better see that guy down the bottom. I can't, I can't stand anywhere to see him. I gotta, oh, we gotta get this thing lifted up, I guess. Um. Maybe I'm gonna do it up to, I gotta do something to lift this up. Maybe there's something on the top here to do that. Ah, if I drop this on this lever here, it should pull that up on the other side. Aha! stone but obviously we're gonna take it up top somewhere so you might as well get it and we'll bring it up top and we'll see where we're gonna go i think it's gonna be to block the laser the the, the gun because there was a gun moving around i'm guessing that's what it's gonna be we can put it there on the left Place we can put it. Yeah, let's put it up here as well. What is that over the top there? Look at the top. What is that? Is, is there another? No, there's not. I mean, the, the circle is only finishes just 
mm. here, so... You'd have thought it would be somewhere around here where we could put it, right? You can only put it in where you, where you see this, this thing over here flashing, that's the only place you can put it, places like that. Maybe you're supposed to get him, oh, maybe you're supposed to get the um, the ram guy to hit this, this thing here, and maybe that'll do something. Yeah, there we go, get him to ram this. What is that thing out there? Like, I just... I don't... I suppose there is, there, is a little, there is a little blind spot. I suppose we're just supposed to run up here, I guess. Um, just follow it up, right? Because there is a blind spot up there. Right, now they're probably going to overlap, so we can bring them up here. Um, Might have to, and we might have to bring that up here. Let's bring it with us because it's no use down here. We might as well bring it up top. It's gotta be, it's gotta be usable up there. But that thing up there it looks like a turtle shell, a turtle hiding behind a rock, or a snail, I should say, rather a turtle, a snail, a big snail hiding behind a rock. I don't think I've seen a marble like that before. Oh no, it's a turtle. It's a toad. It looks like a turtle. It was not. It was a toad. You idiot. So get the other guy, he's probably going to push this off the edge or something and um, and make us a bridge. Maybe. I hope. I think we could use a bridge. Yeah, I can knock that, okay. I'm not sure what it's going to do, but... A bridge! Magic! Right, so he can put the big guy. We get him to put this. Well, he can. He can. He can. He went better. Reach early. We gotta go and hit the crystal first. Damn it! I didn't gotta hit the crystal on the other side. Then we can get him to um to put the to put the thing I want to stand on the other one. I'm not sure what this, this one down here is going to do, the toad. I'm not sure what the toad's going to do. It's, it's got to do something. The toad hasn't done anything, so... But what would a toad do? The fact he's there, I mean, you, we've got to use him for something if he's sitting there. Oh, I get it. He's got to... Okay, I get it. He's got to use that. Pick that up. To put it on here so that he'll stand on the switch. Now we just get him to walk over here, and when, when we come out of his, um, as long as he's over halfway, as soon as he let go, he'll come over. Let's turn that one. Puzzle Master! Incoming transmission! So many trials, and yet, courage unfailing. I am close, Amatai. The summit nears. She said that last time. All around you is darkness. But still, what remains of your failing mind swipes at salvation. Perhaps you may yet succeed. Abby returns the comms unit to her satchel. Only a few paces lie between her and the cloudy summit. Look at that thing over there. And that, that, that is definitely something new. Oh no, it's not. It's one of the big ones. It's just... Oh my god. The angle makes it look like it's something new. Uh, 
Um, Alright, so... we got to get the... If these overlap now, we can use this guy here to... Um, we've got to get a big guy back um, over here somehow. I don't know how you're going to get him over here because... Maybe you're going to have... I suppose you're going to have to take the... Um, we can take one of those blocks back to put it on the thing instead of standing on it. That's not quite what I thought was going to happen. I thought it was going to make block the hole again. <laughs> hmm. As soon as that guy steps off that thing, he's gonna. The bridge is gonna disappear. It's gonna lower. Gotta somehow get over to this. Oh, no, you idiot. Just because I clicked on it, I didn't mean to walk there and, and actually just walk off the edge. You've got to activate that over there. Thanks, demon. It's alright. I'll take being called an idiot. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. It looked like a shell from where I was looking. Alright, okay, now we got him, okay. So. Now he might be able to put this block in the gap, right? And then in the gap and build a bridge. Mm. Or not. Oh! You can, put, you can use a switch. We need a big boy up here to to use that. So can I bring him up here? We can't, can we? Because oh, we can. You should better walk up this side, I guess. Oh. Oh, this guy down here can probably knock that out of the way. Maybe. We're gonna get to this thing over here. Abby's shallow breath quickens as she looks for a way to progress. Within her mind, the dark floods rise further still. Visions flicker in the darkness against the tide's steady swell. Wow! Because until you get, we gotta get of. We gotta get this guy, someone over here. Who else can, who else can we bring from down below? I don't. We can't bring anyone. We might be able to bring the toad. We should have, oh, we can bring the toad, okay. We can bring all of, both of these up from over here, so we can bring him up. Maybe he'll be able to um, knock the bridge down, maybe. Yeah, he can knock the bridge down so we can get over there. Oh no, it's on the other side, dumbass. First. That's that's the thing for the um the goats to run towards. So wherever we put that, that will be the starting point. That's where that guy's going to go. Oh, hang on, if we do that, can we do that over there? What is? Is it too far? It is. No, it's not. Okay. Hmm. 
Mm. So we gotta do something to make that guy up there charge against this and knock it down. Or here? If we can put it there, that's in, that's inside the um, circle. Aha! Now I can control it. Aha! He put it through the crack! I go up here, I should be able to see him. Alright, now this should lift that thing down in the bottom right. I hope. Once we do that and push that button, hopefully it will knock, it will pull that up. Okay. stand on that one and that should um open the door right that's a door at the back i'm sure i'm, I'm sure that's a door at the back right oh there's another one down the bottom oh he's got to bring one oh he's got to bring the stone up from down here isn't he i guess to put on it's because there's three buttons he's got to bring a stone up from down the bottom if there is a stone he can bring it all the way Yeah, he's got to bring this up, up to the top. Oh, he can't. Oh, I have to go down to that one, okay. Is he going to be able to walk over that bridge, I wonder? Is he, is he going to... Is he going to be have too heavy to walk over that bridge and get everything to drop? Nice, oh, he's alright. He might be big bone, but he's not that big. Okay, then I'll go on the other switch. There. And he'll come over here. And then the magic will happen. Whatever that magic is. Wait. Dude, stand on the fucking switch. Okay. There's the magic happening right there. Signal. Oh, the source is unfamiliar. Uh oh, accepting it, she is startled by a strange voice. I only wanted to keep you close. Forgive me. It's her dad. Who? No, it cannot be. Listen to my voice, Abby. I, I, I can't recall anything. Look in your pack. There is a kernel, a seed. I put it there for this moment. The panic in the stranger's voice scares her. Confused, she searches her pack for that of which she speaks. Her hand fumbles upon the tree carving she found earlier. As she studies it, the shadows that had settled within her mind begin to lift. Images slowly return. She remembers a place that felt safe, a home. I guess um, she's been losing her memory then, it, and that's got it back. It's working. It worked for now, my child, but you cannot deny the gods their toll forever. You near a place from which you may not return. It is what I have always feared most. Uh -oh. I'll fight it a little longer. Abby resumes her march. <sighs> In her palm, she holds tightly the memento from her father. Mm -mm. The trinket mm -mm. is now her only anchor to what is most precious inside. She glances at it repeatedly as she walks. As 
she walks? She's not bloody walking, is she? 